I was thinking about this today. It's a metaphor for what it is that I hope we're doing out here. You take big plans, mix in a little success, add in some setbacks, and you've got a recipe for a meaningful life. As you can see, I've got another substantial pile of sticks ready for chipping and shredding out here in our girl goat pen. What do you think, Indigo? Yes, yes. I've been focusing most of my efforts with the chipping and shredding out here in the girl goat pen because, because it's the best place for us to utilize this material right now. I'm gonna to have to put our storm damage recovery efforts on hold. Wendy is getting ready to plant the garden. She's got some seed starts going in the garage under grow lights. So I need to get the garden beds ready for her to use. I'll shoot video of bits and pieces of what I'm doing today. But I thought it'd be good to start by just describing what it is I hope to accomplish. I don't know if I'll have enough time to do it today. I'm gonna to have to quit a little bit early because my mom is in town and I'm gonna be getting together with her, my dad and my brother for dinner out at my dad's place tonight. I've got one, two, three, Four compost bins that are ready for me to use in our raised beds. After those are empty, then I'm going to rotate this one into an empty bin so that the really rough compost is on the bottom and will have plenty of time to decompose and become good compost. I'll also be moving the leaves that we've stacked over by our Mini Cooper Mobile Chicken Coop, probably into this bin as a central location. So as we need the leaves to mix in with the yard clippings and the grass and everything else around here, I can just easily scoop it into the other bins to create the layer system that produces the compost that we need. I'll also need to muck out our chicken coop and bring all of that material out to the compost bins as well.
we finally got our internet back out here. It turns out that we were one of only three customers that were affected by this one line that was damaged. So it took them a little while to get to us. You might be wondering how I was able to upload videos if we didn't have internet. I wasn't able to edit videos at all until we got our power back. Once we did that, I was able to create the videos, but to post them, basically I took them from the hard drive on my desktop PC. We put it onto Wendy's laptop and drove down to Starbucks to use their Wi-Fi. It worked out pretty well, but it wasn't real convenient just sitting out there in the parking lot for a few hours waiting for these things to upload. You just do what you gotta do. All right, let me explain what I've done so far out here. The compost that was in this bin has been moved out to the raised beds. I have filled it up again already using material from our chicken coop, the bedding pellets that were on the floor. Plus I layered in some material from this compost bin, which we've been continually adding stuff to throughout the winter. All of the other bins had finished compost. This was our one in process compost bin for the winter. Now that this compost bin is mostly empty, I put a little bit of the chicken, chicken bedding in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this, the rest of this material over into there. And if and when I get down to a layer that's finished compost, then that stuff will go directly into the raised beds. These two bins over here have finished compost that I haven't done anything with yet. So this stuff still needs to go out into the raised beds. Let's take a look at how much nicer it is in the chicken coop now that they have fresh bedding. We've moved the electric fence that was around our mobile chicken coop. The chickens that were in there are now in our main chicken coop. I can't remember if I've posted that video yet or not. I'm shooting way too many parts of videos these days for multiple, multiple videos. It's hard to keep them all straight. If you haven't seen it yet, stay tuned. The reason we moved the fence is so I can roll this coop out of the way and shovel the chicken manure that's underneath it. This fall. This fall we want to use it? Yes. All right, I'll, we'll try to use it this fall. It's all part of the spring management of our compost around here. This unpleasant job will greatly enrich the compost that we'll be using in our garden this coming fall.
Well, I've got these bins emptied now. I like the idea of putting leaves in the middle one so I can feed quite easily the bins on either side. Even though this bin looks pretty full right now, it will compost down pretty quickly. And before too long, I'll be adding grass and leaves to it. Nobody wants to hear about food. They want to hear about babies. <laughs> Baby goats! Yes. Oh, hello. Are you my baby? Are you just my baby? Yes. Am I holding you uncomfortably? <laughs> Do you not care? Yes, you just say it. It's, it's a little hard to hold my legs like that. <laughs> yeah. It's just awkward. Huh. But you like it. You like it anyways. <laughs> Yeah. Who's a good girl? Are you a good girl? Car <gasps> noise. What's that? Are you named after a car? Is that why you escape? You gonna go hit the open road? <laughs> Little dumb thing. Where is everybody? Come on. Come on. So I've been looking forward to moving these leaves for quite a while. I just didn't have a compost bin to put them in and uh, stored them out by that uh, Mini Cooper. Incidentally, as I've been using this compost, I've been coming across some rocks in there. And you don't want to put that in your garden because it's, it's just not doing you any good as compost. So I've left them out there for the rain to clean them off, and then I'll throw them in a bucket, and you can always use rocks for something. Just another resource.
Always nice to finish a job finally. One last thing. Wendy made some signs for the compost bins. That way it'll be easy to tell what should go into the bins next. This bin is pretty full right now, so I'll probably just have the nothing sign. But this pile will compost down fairly quickly and we'll need to put the grass side out.